Hello everyone, my name is Sakshi and today we will see how to use source transformation and target transformation. What are the properties available in source and target? So let's start with the source transformation. In source, you can see there are query option. In query, there are the filter, sorter and we can use the distinct row as well. In advance, you can see the tracing level property. There are four uh, logging properties are there. Then there are pre-sql, post-sql, sql override. You can write the override the query here. Here you can select the output is repeatable, never, always. You can define the schema name and table name. So we will see these properties one by one, how it works in the Informatica cloud. So let me show you my source. So this is my source. I will copy this source. So it will be easy for us to compare the result. So in filter, I will give the condition like I want the salary which is greater than 5000. Save. We'll run this mapping. So you can see in my source there are two records, okay? More than 5,000 salary, 10,000, 20,000. So it will be give the two records in our output. So you can see it is affected with two rows. So let's check in target. So we can see it is recorded whose salary is more than 10,000. Okay. Now you can see the distinct record and sort it. So we'll sort the data on the employee ID. And we want the select distinct rows only. Now we'll see our record. So we have a duplicates record available. Okay. This is my duplicate record. 104 and 104. So four records are duplicates. So let's see. Now we want the select distinct rows only. We'll remove this filter condition. Three records should be loaded. And this and this two. Okay, we can see it affected six rows. Okay, let's see. Okay, so you can see it's removed the duplicate record. So if you see 101 and this one, this both are same. So it remove the duplicate record. But for 104, we have the different records. You can see the employee salary is different for both the records. That's why it took the 4, 104 two times here. And that's why we will get the result like six records. So this is the unique record. Now 
will use the pre sequel and post sequel first understand what is the pre sequel and the post sequel so pre sequel statement means the sequel statement executed before data loaded into the target tables in pre sequel and in the post sequel the sequel statement executed after loading records target table okay so we'll do one thing we will take one example we'll insert the record in the pre sequel and when delete one record from uh, into the post sequel so let's uh, insert one record values employee id 101 name we will take info employee salary 50000 department id 100 And we'll delete one record from our source. Let's delete this record 113. Delete from employee where employee ID is equal to 113. Okay, we'll save this mapping. Run. okay let's single code character has not be available okay insert into employee id my name So you can see mapping executed successfully with 8 affected rows. We will see the result. So you can see one record is added 101 50,000 salary info gmail.com okay and what we did we deleted 113 record right. So we will see our source there are no record of honey 113. 
so in this way you can use the source property source transformation properties and you can use the pre sql post sql so what is the benefit of pre sql and post sql it allow the informatica cloud job to perform the additional tasks on the data and enable the user to change the way a job runs without making a new job and in target you can see we also have the advanced properties like forward rejected rows pre sql post sql here also you can define same things you can override the query here reject file directory if you want the reject file name for the directory you can uh, specify the directory here if you want the file name then you can define the file name you can define schema name and table name here so in this way you can use the source and target transformation properties in informatica cloud thank you